back, first of all. Uh, we're on episode six of my first prep series and today it is Friday the 16th of April. Um, it is around about half four in the afternoon. Um, I need to get to the gym, I've got to do legs. Uh, no cardio today, um, but I want to get there and get back because I want to spend a little bit of time with the family this evening. Um, I'm going to kick this episode off with a bit of pause and practice. Um, this was my first eye walk practice, first full routine practice really, um, that I've had since the gyms have been shut. Um, I've recently joined a second gym, so I'm a member of Revolution Fitness in Worcester and at Pure Gym in Evesham. So I use the combination of the two just to help me out in relation to work and home life and travelling and things. Um, so here is my first lot of pausing at Pure Gym the other day. enjoyed that little bit of pause in there um, I've still got a long way to go to be honest um, I still need to practice 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 um, but at least I know I've got some decent space to practice in um, I've got a fantastic studio at revs as well that I'm going to be practicing in too so I'm actually at the gym now to do legs so let's go <laughs>
just finished legs. I'm absolutely shattered. My legs are shaking. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of pausing practice now, just while I've got the chance and the um, studio's empty, uh, just for sort of 10, 15 minutes. sure what day it is um, I'm about to go to Worcester and we're gonna have a little trot around the river do a couple of miles walking with a friend called Sam Sam's gonna be in the same show as me in the same category so just want to have a catch up and a chin wag about where we're at and what bits and bobs we're doing uh, for this next nine weeks um, I have not got any resistance training today I've got to do an hour's cardio and that's pretty much it. I'm going to be watching the Kingdom Class 2 Bros competition this afternoon um, because Chloe uh, Brebner from my gym, uh, Revolution Fitness, will be competing and I'm so, so excited to see her on stage. I'll try and do a little bit of screen recording as well and, and show you uh, her physique. She's amazing. <laughs> Sunday the 18th of April today um, I'm currently up to um, Pewdie Gym in Evesham I've got to do um, abs and Stairmaster half an hour cardio today um, I'm also going to do uh, some pausing practice in the studio I watched um, the show yesterday so I watched two bros at the Kingdom class um, bodybuilding show yesterday and it was amazing. Um, I mean, it just shows you how important pausing is. Um, practicing pausing, getting those turns correct is so important. So it looks like you're not thinking about it on stage. So what I'm gonna be doing today after my abs and my cardio is I'm gonna be doing some more pausing practice in the studio. So come along and join me.
Um, what you've just seen is uh, me pausing at Pure Gym um, on Monday, which was the 19th. Uh, as you can see, I've practiced and practiced and practiced. I pretty much practice every time I've trained, really, for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's hard graft. And um, I'm going to show you next um, what I did yesterday. Uh, yesterday I did uh, a bit of pause and practice at Revolution Fitness after I trained um, and I did legs um, because I didn't have any cardio and I filmed myself without the mirror so the mirror is actually behind me and that was the first time I've paused without looking at myself and actually it's really hard so I'm not going to have mirrors in front of me on show day so that's something I'm going to start incorporating regularly. Um, before the show is pausing without the mirrors in front of me filming it and then watching it back to see that I am producing the right shapes without the help of mirrors in front of me <laughs> I've also filmed my back when I've been pausing so it's important that you understand and feel your muscles contract when you're pausing it does hurt it is hard work but what you don't want is when you're doing a back pause is to not to show off the muscles in your back um, obviously in PC it's slightly different two bros you flick your hair and your hair covers your back but you still want to spread them lats out it's difficult because you need to understand how your shoulder blade moves um, I sort of push my shoulders forward and bring my shoulder blade out but because your back your back and you haven't got eyes in the back of your head you can't see if it's working so I would normally film my back moving my arms around, not spreading my lats, spreading my lats, putting my arms to the side, and it will show you the contractions in your back. And then once you realize the feeling that you need to have that proper lat spread, that contraction, it, it works well. So that's what I've been doing. So here's a little video of, of me flexing my back. <laughs> film myself from the back rather than the front you typically always want to film yourself from the front but if you film yourself from the back that's again another angle that you can look at and adjust where needed <laughs> was a good episode particularly focusing and on pausing and obviously watching a show it just shows how important that pausing is if you are looking to do a show I would massively recommend um, that you get a coach find out what federation you want to compete with and see what type of pausing that they require PCA that I'm doing on the 12th is completely different pausing to two bros so you need to make sure that you've got the correct posing style down as well. Well, that's that then. I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my videos. Um, I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting as well. Um, remember to like and subscribe to my channel for my next episode. And I'll keep you all updated. It's going really quick. So I'll see you all soon.